Let's, let's not make any mistake here. The President wants to make this all about the whistleblower and suggest people that come forward with evidence of his wrongdoing are somehow treasonous uh, and should be treated as traitors and spies. Um, this is a blatant effort to intimidate witnesses. Uh, it's an incitement to violence. Um, and I would hope, and we're starting to see members of both parties speaking out against attacking this whistleblower or others that have pertinent information. The intelligence community recognizes the importance of whistleblowers. Protecting whistleblowers who see wrongdoing of any kind in our government is essential. The president probably doesn't realize how dangerous his statements are when he says he wants to expose who the whistleblower is and, and those who may have given the whistleblower that information. This is a very serious, very serious challenge that the president has put there. It's very sad. The whistleblower has the right on the statute to remain anonymous, uh, and we uh, will do everything in our power to make sure that that whistleblower is protected, that that whistleblower's um, uh, preferences in terms of their anonymity are respected. If you think about what the uh, framers were concerned about at the time of the drafting of the Constitution, they were paramountly concerned about foreign interference in American affairs. They wanted to ensure that the President of the United States was defending the interests and national security of the United States and not corruptly, secretly advancing some private agenda with a foreign power. It's hard to imagine a set of circumstances that would have alarmed the founders more than what's on that call.